The worst case scenario, an active shooter on campus. And the sheriff is also willing to train teachers at Polk County Public Schools if that's what they want. News Channel 8's Melissa Marino is joining us live with a report tonight. Melissa, this really is the first time we're seeing this kind of training in action. Well, that's right, and good evening. We're also learning that these selected trained staff members will be spread out around this campus con carrying concealed firearms, armed and ready. Got it. You ready? Yes. Chris Owen is choosing to confront danger. The VP of Student Development is one of a handful of Southeastern University staff members volunteering to take part in the Polk County Sheriff's Office Sentinel Program. Uh, every time you turn on the news and you see an incident like this that takes place, in my position, you ask the question, what else can we do? But who can carry law firearms on campus? Law enforcement officers. So I will be swearing them in as special deputies. News Channel 8 got a sneak peek at the intense law enforcement training these future special deputies are undergoing. Good, drop your mag. They must pass background checks and complete more than 120 hours, more than current deputies do. Everything from handling and firing a gun Lock and load this. to current laws aimed at teaching them to carry a concealed firearm on campus. Parents trust you when they drop their students off, that you have done everything you can to protect them. 12 staff members signed up, nine remain. And in May, they'll be sworn in, but will only have authority if forced to confront and stop a potential deadly threat. But if you show up on a campus with a gun, we're gonna shoot you graveyard dead if you're trying to hurt our kids. The sheriff says that other local campuses are looking into this program. He's extending this offer to train the staff for any schools in this area, public or private. Keith? Well, I know there's a lot of debate over this sort of thing, but uh, you have to wonder about the local school district. I mean, is that really something the Polk County School District is going to consider, arming teachers, public schools? Why well, read? I reached out and I just spoke with a, a spokesperson who tells me they have not even had the discussion yet. All right, Melissa Marino reporting live for us tonight. Thank you.